Hi folks, this is Ruby Naka here. If you are interested in learning about the provisions of JJ Act, you are watching the right channel. Today, we are going to talk about the different kinds of offenses committed by children under the JJ Act. But before I go on to talk about the different kinds of offenses, what I want to do to make this video a little bit interesting is I want to give you a quiz. Okay? You go to this place here, you will see a question and the question is this, which state in India has the highest number of children in conflict with the law? I will repeat that question one more time. Which state in India has the highest number of children in conflict with the law? Now let's come back to our original discussion of different kinds of offenses committed by children under the JJ Act. You probably know by now that JJ Act when it was created by the Indian Parliament they have divided into two broad divisions. One division takes care of children in conflict with the law. Other division takes care of children in need of care and protection. So when you look at these children in conflict with the law, what kind of offenses are we talking about? That is what today's discussion is all about. Number one offense is called as petty offenses. That means small offenses. What is the definition of petty offense in JJ means? Any offence that is committed by an adult and subjects that adult under the Indian Penal Code or any other Indian laws up to an imprisonment of three years, if that similar kind of a crime is committed by a child, it is called as petty offences. Now, I will give you one simple and small example to explain this. Now. Under the Indian Penal Code, there is a punishment for committing forgery. Forgery means, you know, copying someone's signature. Let's say I go and forge somebody's signature to steal money. That is called forgery, right? Under the penal Indian Penal Code, the punishment for an adult for committing forgery is two years. So if the similar kind of a crime uh, uh, committed by a child, it is called petty offence. That's the first one. The second offence is called as serious offence. Similarly, if an adult commits a crime and subjects that adult under the Indian Penal Code or any other Indian Act for an imprisonment anywhere between three years and seven years and if the similar kind of a crime is committed by a child that would be considered as a serious crime that's the second one now let's go to the last offense it is called heinous offense heinous offense means any kind of a crime that is committed by an adult and subject that adult under the Indian Penal Code or any other Indian law for an imprisonment up to sorry imprisonment of seven years or above and if that similar kind of a crime commits committed by a child then it would be considered as a heinous crime for example heinous crime means murder kidnapping sexual assault all these would be considered as heinous crimes. That is all the offences are given under the JJ Act committed by the children. Now I want to take you back to that quiz I gave you. Which state in India has the highest number of children in conflict with the law? Here are the states. I hope you got the right answer. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like it, comment on it, share it and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can learn as much as you possibly can about JJI. Till then, goodbye.